Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. My name is Isabel and on this channel I document my journey to becoming a professional artist. So it's already Friday, it's about 5 p.m. It's pitch dark outside already and I need to catch up on a few things, although I'm not sure that's going to happen. But like for instance, I'm way behind on my alphabet superset challenge, which is a weekly drawing challenge. I finished letter I, I think two weeks ago already, so I'm behind on letter J and I think this week is letter K. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll start working on letter J. And the reason I'm behind is because I decided to take some time to draw something that I would take my time with. So that's why I drew the raven that you saw earlier because I really wanted to draw something that would be first a little bit challenging. I don't really draw birds. I draw more botanicals, but I'd love to, I think I've mentioned that before, I'd love to know how to draw one or two birds really well. And the raven is one of them. I think ravens are pretty cool. And so I wanted to take my time, not rush it. I think I rushed through my drawings. It's on my wall now. I'm really happy how it turned out. I actually made a sticker out of it, which I'm hoping will arrive. Hmm. It's supposed to arrive, I think maybe Monday or next week. So I'm not sure I'll be able to show it to you in this video, but if, if it arrives, you'll see that new sticker. Uh, but what else? I've been drawing in my sketchbooks. I started drawing some rose hips. Um, so I'm probably going to expand the page. And then also started drawing some mistletoe, which I don't know if you can see on the camera because it's very faint. It's just really the draft stage. And then I started this little pocket sketchbook I got not very long ago. And also drawing um, in graphite, I started drawing a little crystal each day. So that's like this little rose quartz ball. And then I drew some clear quartz. And then last night I drew a little amethyst point. Actually, fun fact, I like to put those in my plants. I, if you don't know, I love crystals or minerals, you could call them. I have a whole collection. And in fact, I'm just about to draw another page of crystals in this uh, sketchbook. I guess I'm just going to start drawing.
It's Saturday and it's kind of a gloomy day again. <laughs> it's been a gloomy week altogether, not much sun at all. But I decided to go on a walk to stretch my legs and maybe chat a little bit. I've been reflecting a little bit on this year and making videos and it's been a ton of fun. Like I really enjoy making videos and editing them. I think it's a fun creative process but it's also been exhausting because I have a full-time job and I want to spend time drawing obviously so it's been really tough balancing all of it I'm not complaining I'm just saying and but I don't know I've been thinking am I too old for this like not in a way that you can't start new things when you're in your 50s I'm 51 currently which, I don't know, it still feels weird to say out loud because <laughs> I feel 35 in my mind. But, and that's about, you know, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of you might be much younger than me, like in your 20s and 30s. And I haven't noticed too many artists, YouTubers in their 50s. Maybe I'm just not aware of them. I know there's a YouTuber called The Unexpected Gypsy, which I uh, follow and she's pretty fun to watch and watch her journey. But she's already an established artist. So my journey is a little bit different, which, you know, is a good thing, but yeah. So I don't know, I've been reflecting on where do I want to take my videos? Do I do less vlogs, more drawing videos? Maybe let me know in the comments if you like watching the vlogs or if you'd prefer to watch other things. I've experimented a lot this year. Filming vlogs is extremely time consuming and uh, even though I do enjoy it, I have to say. So, I don't know, I'm kind of you're in this frame of mind at the end of the year when you look back and reassess where I want to take you in 2024. I think probably more drawing videos, but I'll still make vlogs at least a couple times a month for sure because I enjoy them. Anyways, I don't want this to be too much of a ramble, just some thoughts going through my mind about where to take my YouTube channel in 2024 and I think it's gonna be good yeah so it's Sunday morning it's about 11 a.m. and I've been busy just like taking care of the neighbor's cat and just taking my time having some coffee and yeah, I'm getting ready to head out soon to go to an art fair today. So this is a yearly art fair. It's called Hovercraft. And these are, these are all local artists in Milwaukee. They might be artists from out of town too, but I'm not really sure. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a fun, it's in a beautiful building in the third ward of Milwaukee. And yeah, I'm gonna take you along so you'll see. It's always fun to go and um, even though I'm not really in the Christmas spirit yet, I haven't decorated anything yet. Then my goal for today also is to actually work on one of the alphabet superset drawings I'm behind on. I've been thinking a lot about that letter J, which I was thinking having like a jungle like, so some tropical leaves in the background and maybe a jaybird in the foreground. Um, yeah, but I keep going back and forth in my mind. I can get so indecisive. That's kind of a trait of highly sensitive person actually in decision because when you have this kind of visionary mindset, seeing all the options before you uh, makes it harder to pick one, right? Because all options have a potential 
And yeah, so I often <laughs> um, get indecisive because of that reason, because I kind of see where things can go. And then um, when you see all the potentials, it's maybe harder to pick, but uh, yeah, so. All right, so I'm gonna finish my coffee and then head out. I just got home from the art fair as you saw it was really crowded it was kind of hard to film also I get super self-conscious filming in public so I was a little timid I got my aura picture taken there a year ago and so I decided to have it taken again this year just to see if there would be a difference and as you can see they're like polar opposites almost which my understanding is your aura color changes all the time it's very fluid. It's hard to explain, but I relate a lot more to having a blue aura. Um, yeah, on my way home, I stopped and got a cappuccino. I know I'm addicted to coffee, it's <laughs> ridiculous. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna probably have a bite to eat and then uh, chill for a little bit and then I'll get back into drawing.
So before I close this vlog, I wanted to let you know I received this morning a new sticker and it's the raven I drew. You saw me finished earlier in the video. And uh, even though it looks like there's an outline, there isn't, it's a clear sticker. So if you stick it on like, say, like I did on my sketchbook, you won't see an outline. Uh, yeah, so I'll be on my shop. And yeah, so I finished my Jaybird head, I guess. Um, yesterday and I've decided not to draw the leaves well it's more like I kind of run out of time <laughs> so but I think I'm gonna leave it at that and move on to alphabet superset letter K is next and yeah so I'll show you that in a future video in the meantime thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, comment, share it with your friends, and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!